See, now let us discuss about what is conservative vector field. See, the, by definition, a vector field is said to be conservative. Vector field is said to be conservative if the vector field say the vector field is F. The vector field F is said to be conservative if the field F can be expressed as if field F can be expressed as the gradient of a scalar function scalar function if field F is can be expressed as the gradient of scalar function phi like F is said to be conservative if f is represented as if it can be expressed as gradient of phi means this phi is called potential this phi is called where phi is called potential associated with the vector function or the conservative field with the field F. So a vector field F is said to be conservative if field F can be expressed as the gradient of a scalar function phi. If there exists a phi corresponding to F such that F is del phi, then I call this vector function F as a conservative field. I'll see, I'll tell you uh, what it leads to, what are the conclusions that comes from F equal to del phi what other properties is associated with such conservative vector fields. I'll tell you, I will discuss about that. What are the other properties of conservative vector field? This is the part of definition. If there exists a potential phi associated with the field such that f is del phi, then f is said to be conservative. I'll tell you its consequences. What happens if f is expressed as the gradient of a scalar? I will tell you about its consequences, what are the consequences, what it leads to. See, if suppose I have a field F, if suppose this is the three dimensional corner system and I have, I have, suppose I have an initial point x1, y1, z1 and the final point x2 y2 z2 right and let's say I have a curve like this I have a curve like this then a line integral f dot dr on this curve can be written as See, if this F is conservative, if this F is conservative, then this F can be written as del of phi and what is del phi dot dr? Del phi is i j k. So, del phi dot dr can be written as dx dy so this is nothing but the total derivative so del phi dot dr comes out to be d phi and this integrated will give you phi x y z from x1, y1, z1 to the final point x2, y2, z2 and it's nothing but the value of potential at final point and value of potential 
at initial point. So what do you see? You see that if f is conservative, then the line integral of f on any curve c joining the two points, initial fan point, does not depend on the curve. See, nowhere we have incorporated the property of a curve. Means, if the curve would have been this, even then, the line integral would have been this only. If the curve is this, even then, the line integral will be the value of phi at this point minus value of phi at this point. So, line integral we are finding is depending only on initial point and final point. It is not depending on the which curve is joining the point x1, y1, z1 to x2, y2, z2. Call it P and Q. The line integral depends only on the initial point and final point. It does not depend on which curve joins P to Q. So this is also a very important property associated with the conservative vector field. right? So the line integral does not depend on the curve it depends on the initial point and final point. So if I consider a closed curve, if I consider a closed curve, in case of closed curve, these this initial final point, they coincide. So in that case, the line integral f dot dr, line integral of a conservative vector field over a closed curve will be zero because these two points will coincide. So the value of x2 i2 z2 and x2 i2 z2 will be the same point. So this become zero. So this is yet another property of a conservative vector field that the line integral of f around any closed curve, this any is very important, any closed curve will be zero. The line integral of conservative vector field vector field, conservative vector field over any closed curve is always zero. So this is also very important property. The other properties are since conservative fields are expressed as gradient of scalar, so the curl of f, curl of f is curl of del phi is always zero. It means this is very very important property that the curl of a conservative field is always zero. Curl of conservative field is always zero. The curl of conservative vector field is always zero. If you are asked, if you are given a field and you have been asked whether the field is conservative or not, the best way of finding out whether the field of field is conservative or not is you take its curl and see whether it is zero or not. If it is zero, the field is conservative. If it is not zero, the field is not conservative. Right, so these are the important properties of the conservative vector field. Conservative vector fields are those fields which are expressed as the gradient of scalar. If it is expressed as the gradient of scalar, you are finding that the line integral between P to Q does not depend on the curve. It is same for every curve. And from here you conclude that the line integral of conservative vector field over any closed curve is zero. And since conservative vector field is defined like this, del cross F is always zero. Right. So this is this is this gives you this gives you an, a, a way to check whether the field is conservative or not. Now we'll see one problem on this.